Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome to my first vlog of the year. Um, after a long break, I think I had like five months off, but I've been busy. I wanted to start this year off with a weekly vlog, um, just showing like how I'm getting back into a good routine and all of that kind of stuff and like how I'm eating in the new year. I will still be eating healthy, but I've definitely got a lot more balance now. So that's good. So I'll show you all of that kind of stuff. I woke up really early this morning at quarter to five in the morning because James gets up so early for work. So I thought I might as well get up as well. This year, one of my aims or goals was to start waking up early and be part of like the 5am club. So I got up a quarter to five, so I'm actually part of that club now. I'm part of that club. Just been working this morning and now I'm on my lunch break. So I'm waiting for my food delivery because my mum and dad are away this week. So I don't mind food shopping from Waitrose. <laughs> um, can't even afford it, but that, oh well, I've done it now. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come and then I might show you what I bought for my, um, for my food shopping for the week. I also saved this tiny bit of shepherd's pie from my dinner yesterday. Like what was even the point? Look how small it is. So I'm just eating that now, but I'm going to have to make a salad or something as well. Um, and then... And then after lunch, I'm gonna work again. And then I've got a dentist appointment later this afternoon. So I'm gonna go to that. But I will catch you guys in a bit and I hope you enjoy the rest of my vlog. Hey guys, my shopping came. I feel like I got so much. I'll show you some of the stuff, but it's from Waitrose and I spent 57 pound. And that's, this should be enough food for me and James for the week. I don't know if it will be, but we'll see. But I got potatoes, courgette, peppers, a pack of food, spring onion, bananas, 10 stem broccoli and green beans, a massive bag of kale, gluten-free sourdough, oranges, spicy Mexican rice, tomato puree, whatever these are called, melon, is it? cantaloupe melon because i'm gonna make a juice with it and a watermelon which i'm also gonna make in the juice um red onion coffee beans lazy garlic avo beetroot which i'm gonna also put in a juice i'll show you when i make a juice because i've got a recipe salad and salad like salad leaves coconut yog coconut like ice lollies they're salted caramel. Oh my God, they're just so nice. Dairy free, sugar free. Love that. I got two packs because they were on offer. Raspberries, smoked haddock, king prawns, free range chicken breast. So much stuff for 57 pound. Yeah, we'll see how long this lasts me, but I'm probably gonna have to go to the shop again, but I'm gonna try not to. I forgot to film what I had for dinner, but I had smoked haddock with a little bit of mash, kale, broccoli, and green beans. It was really nice. And now I'm trying to take my jumper off because I'm going to Pilates. James is going to the gym and we'll be back at like eight. So I might do some work or I might chill out and maybe watch some TV in bed. I don't know. But for now, it's Pilates time. Hi guys, guess who's not coming to the gym with me now? This one. Why are you exposing me like that? Because what's he doing instead? Watching Ant-Man. Oh well, I'm going now, so. Bye, Felicia. Holy crap, it's actually so cold. It's 1.5 degrees. It's so, so cold. Just done Pilates though, it was really good. I actually so enjoy it. I went for a stage of going to Pilates like every single week, but haven't been since before Christmas. So I need to get back into it. But I did really enjoy it and my friend came with me. So it was lush. What a good class. Hi guys, it's Tuesday. I'm just gonna go downstairs and make a juice with James. 
I bought. <laughs> really nice um, and we're going to have some leftover that's just celery um, yeah it's not that or you just probably want to go inside but that wasn't it was complete it's complete now gorgeous gorgeous girls have a little belly pouch gorgeous gorgeous girls really don't give a fuck I can't get it out of my head. I am so happy because my coffee beans just came. I basically subscribed to this coffee bean delivery service. And I think it's like seven pound every two weeks. And I basically get these freshly ground coffee beans, put them in my coffee machine. And do you know what? They're just so much better when they're freshly ground. Not freshly ground. Freshly roasted! Oh my god, freshly roasted. I'm stupid sometimes. It's looking quite sunny, so I might go for a run. I might go for a run or I might do body pump at home, but I'm not going to the gym because I'm just not, not feeling that today. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, really like coffee. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, really like coffee. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, I have to bend down to vlog because gorgeous, gorgeous girls don't have a tripod. That changed my mind a little bit. I done 5k and I done it in like 25 minutes but the last two kilometers I was listening to all too well 10 minute version and it was just making me run so fast because I really wanted to do two kilometers by the time the song finished and I did so it was definitely a bit motivating I just get so sweaty I need to have some lunch but I'm not really feeling the eating at the minute I need to wait till I've cooled down a little bit and then I'm gonna have some lunch I love working from home because it means I can run on my lunch break and just go back to work like this. But when I'm in the office, I don't want to go back to the office like this. And I think I'm going back soon. So that makes me really sad. I don't know what I'm going to do. Not good times. Anyway, I'm going to cool off, have a drink and I will speak to you guys later. I'm having a tin of tuna on my salad, just for a little bit of protein and plus it's so easy to have tuna because it doesn't go out of date or anything so love that for me. Yum and I've got tahini, lemon juice, salt and pepper as my dressing. Pink Himalayan salt of course. Are you really into health if you don't use pink Himalayan salt? I don't know. Um, this is my salad. This is a usual go-to lunch for me. It's so easy. Oh, yeah, literally so easy to make and so big and filling. So I'm gonna eat that. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I'm so hungry, I really need breakfast right now. I'm just gonna have porridge with coconut milk. 
I also had my juice this morning, which I made yesterday, and it was so nice. It's got quite a lot of fruit in it, so it's not something I'd usually go for because it's got like raspberries and melon and all of that in it. I wouldn't usually go for something like that because it's quite high in sugar, even though it's natural sugar. I just sometimes I don't like starting my day with that, but do you know what? I've been really enjoying it the last two days, so I might just carry on. Porridge in the microwave. I mean, it's better to heat on the hob, but. It's all about time efficiency here. So, so in my porridge, I'm having chia seeds, cacao powder, and almond butter. Because I'm obsessed with almond butter. I'm in such a weird mood today. I think where I'm working from home and no one's here, I just turn crazy. I just turn crazy. I forgot to say, in the juice I had this morning, I put in some Cerise Body Bloom because I just got it yesterday in the post. I have had it before, but I um, bought another one and I put it in my juice. When I had it before, it did kind of make me go to the toilet too much, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to try again, but I'm just going to use a smaller amount because I think I was using like a heaped spoon. This time I only did like a little sprinkle sprinkle, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. It smells so nice. Like it literally smells like chocolate cake batter. Here it is. Don't know if you can see. And then add my raspberries on top. I don't really have too many raspberries because I actually don't love them. I prefer strawberries. So vain, but I literally love looking at my abs in this oven mirror thing, oven door, because I don't know what it does. But it, it makes me look so toned compared to a normal mirror. And just having a black coffee. I'm not into that oat milk I bought from Home Bargains. It makes me feel sick. So I'm having it black. Lunch. I had some left that wouldn't fit in the wrap, so I've just put it on the side. And it's also got salad in it, so I'm just gonna eat that. We're going to the gym. I'm trying BCAAs for the first time. Ooh, it stinks. Mm. Oh, it's nice. Want to try? Mm. Yeah, that's nice. You don't like? It's alright. I don't want to taste. Got a weird one to taste. Anyway, we're going to the gym. I'm going to do a Sarah's Day workout. And it's in my pocket right here because I printed it off. See you on the other side. happy thursday i've just been working this morning got kind of ready for the day um it is half 10 and i'm getting a bit hungry so i'm gonna have some watermelon as a snack um because it's left over from the juice we made i had porridge for breakfast this morning i really wanted pancakes but my bananas still aren't right oh my god i didn't film anything last night so my friend came around for dinner and um, it was really nice. We had like a prawn stir fry kind of thing. Spiralized carrot, spiralized courgette, all together with prawns. It was so nice. I did forget to put garlic in it though, so it was missing a little something something. Anyway, I took that BCAAs before the gym, didn't I? And like the whole of last night, I felt sick. I don't know if it was related or not. I had a pounding headache. I went to sleep at half eight. My friend left at seven and I was like, oh, that's sweet. I'm going to do some work. No, I went to bed. I had a bath and I went to bed. And it just really wasn't a fun time. So I don't know if I'll be taking it again. This is literally me all day, every day. Sitting at my laptop. Working. Guys, don't mind me, I am actually working. 
but I just wanted to quickly come on here and talk about something. So basically I went to the dentist the other day to look at getting bonding done on these teeth and the dentist basically said I need Invisalign not bonding because uh, these teeth need to be like turned in and down for me. But the problem is it's way more money than I was expecting to spend. So at first I was like, hmm, like I don't know, but I was like, I'll go home and think about it. And anyway, I was thinking about it. It's almost on my door. Yeah. Yay, my ASOS parcels came. I always take my dressing, <laughs> I can't talk. I always take my dressing gown off before I answer the door because I feel like they think I'm not dressed. So I like to run down the hallway, <laughs> take my dressing gown off. Anyway, what I was saying, if you spend money, money comes back to you. But if you like cling on to your money and you're like a bit tight, you don't get money flow into you. But if you spend it abundantly, it's gonna come, it's all gonna come back round. So if you want something, just get it. That's what I think. Like, yeah, obviously save a little bit and like do what you can, but we're young. This is the only time we're gonna have this money to spend on ourselves. And also, I've read a couple of um, like self-help books and manifesting books and all of that kind of stuff. And like one of the beliefs they say you should have is spend money freely and like it will all come back to you in the long run. So do you know what? I'm gonna, I don't I'm know gonna why get... that stopped recording. I don't know why that stopped recording, but basically what I was saying is I'm gonna get Invisalign because it's a good investment. My teeth will be straight forever. It's not like bonding, which only lasts for three years. Like it's gonna last forever. So it's actually gonna be better in the long run. Also, my new running trainers came. They were on sale, they were only 40 quid. Um, and they're meant to be really good. I've done some research. They are called at Patriot 12. Yeah, apparently they're meant to be good, so. such a productive day already i've done so much work stuff and i've done two loads of washing and i'm about to clean i just i just love days like this where you feel so productive i did get up at quarter to five so what do you expect i actually reposted a tiktok of like tips to wake up early earlier basically said like get a proper alarm clock not your phone because then you're less likely to like sit in bed on your phone if you just turn off the alarm clock rather than your phone if that makes sense um and it said like as soon as it goes off like just get up put the light on my alarm clock turns the light on itself but um you just could switch your light on other things were like go to bed early and I have like a consistent bedtime, which I probably go to sleep at like half nine every night. So not really early, but quite early, I guess. Um, what else did it say? Like try to limit your screen time on your phone in bed, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was just really interesting because I do try and do a lot of the things and I feel like I'm okay at it. Sometimes I don't sleep that well when I feel tired in the morning, but once I'm up, I actually feel so fine it's just like the initial getting up but once you're up and about like today i was so hyper this morning so i put in the bin out and everything 5 a.m who am i um but i'm gonna go and clean the house now but i kept you like an oath Sacred press.
happy Sunday, guys. We are feeling a bit um, worse for wear this morning, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We just had too much to drink last night. What can we say? Um, that looks like an hand's dog. A bit. Yeah, but um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And I know it was super random, but I'm going to end it here. So, bye. And there's someone coming. And there's more people. <laughs>